Goku. Superman. Titans of power, champions of unimaginable might, endlessly requested to fight each other. Again, he's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, Superman entered the world on the cover of Action Comics No. 1 in 1938. He was the first, and his success paved the way for the superhero genre. The Man of Steel is righteous, courageous, selfless, a perfect Boy Scout. Very inspirational, but man, does it get boring sometimes. Siegel and Schuster were the sons of Jewish American immigrants and knew firsthand what it was like living in a world where they felt alien. Thus, this became the basis of Superman's story. You know how it goes. His scientist dad found out his homeworld Krypton was getting a bit too explosive and sent his son off to Earth to save him. On Earth, Superman's Kryptonian cells can absorb solar radiation from the yellow sun, giving him awesome strength, speed, durability, flight, and the power to shoot heat from his eyes, which can be large enough to vaporize a planet or precise enough to perform lobotomies. Superman was so powerful he could carry entire solar systems on his back or obliterate them with a sneeze. But over 75 years, Superman has changed quite a bit, including going through two separate reboots, which we will be focusing on today. These reboots lessened his insane power, not exactly by altering his abilities, but by changing his outlook. Upon discovering his alien powers, the new Superman rejected them, unintentionally instilling mental barriers on his powers, which he would work to unlock through the rest of his life. Sort of like when you drink too much and don't remember the night before, so you gotta spend all day figuring out how you got yourself a dozen kangaroos and married a lamp. Don't ask. And then, in 1996, the world changed. Dragon Ball Z came to America. Dragon, Dragon, Rock the Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Twelve years prior, a mangaka, or author of Japanese comics, named Akira Toriyama introduced Dragon Ball, the story of Son Goku and his quest to become the greatest martial artist in the world, nay, the universe. Like Superman, Goku was also sent to Earth from a doomed planet and possessed incredible powers. But that's pretty much where their similarities end. Goku was primarily inspired by the Monkey King's son Wukong from the Chinese novel Journey to the West. If you have any interest in Asian culture, I highly recommend reading it. It's inspired far more than just Dragon Ball. Throw a stone at a shelf of anime, and odds are it hits something inspired by Journey to the West. Anyway, Toriyama was smart and knew that fighting is awesome, so Dragon Ball took off like a rocket. Sooner than you can say power levels are bullshit, Dragon Ball became a hit anime and then came to America. Literally making its own journey to the West. <laughs> and forever changing the childhoods of many. Dragon Ball Z became the gateway anime to many Westerners. However, since prior anime had very little success overseas due to the differences between Japanese and American cultures, the companies responsible for importing DBZ understandably feared Goku's character might seem a bit selfish and heartless to a Western audience. Their solution? Turn Goku into Superman. This decision resulted in some strange mistranslations, such as labeling Goku's father as a brilliant scientist. Yeah, I don't see it. As well as perhaps Goku's most famous line, which many argue actually conflicts with his true character. I am the hope of the universe. I am protector of the innocent. I am the light in the darkness. I am truth. Good nightmare to you! 
And this is where it all began. The nerd debates, the internet wars, East versus West, which hometown hero would triumph in a brutal fight to the end? In 2002, Wizards Magazine delivered an answer. They deduced Goku would win, stating that Superman would die to a fall from the moon to the Earth. A decade later, the website Outskirts Battle Dome launched, dedicated to answering versus matches. This time, Superman claimed victory. However, the chaotic debate careened out of control and eventually became banned forever. The arguments only grew. The internet needed a solid answer. That's where we came in. Since January 2012, Goku and Superman have continued their adventures. Superman gained an all-new ability called the Super Flare, which jettisons all the solar energy stored in his body, essentially turning him into a solar bomb. However, it leaves him completely drained of his powers for the next 24 hours. As such, he will only use the Super Flare as an ultimate last resort. Goku attained a new legendary form called Super Saiyan God. Despite being a temporary boost, Goku's body absorbed the godly power, essentially making it his new base form. Then, after mixing its power with his Super Saiyan ability, he became a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan! Oh, come on! There had to have been a better name. Ultra Saiyan, Master Saiyan, Super Ultra, combo with Fry Saiyan, anything but that mouthful! These new powers have naturally rekindled the ultimate debate. Is this godly Goku powerful enough to defeat Superman, or will this just be a repeat of the past? Well, let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for the rematch of Legends. It's time for a death battle! Superman. Son Goku, I've been expecting you. Ready for a rematch? This is my burden. Be thankful it is not yours. Don't get ahead of yourself, buddy. You're not the only one with that kind of power. Blue hair? <laughs> I've seen worse. Yeah! 
Yeah! <laughs> 